In this video, I'm going to discuss how to find probability from cumulative distribution functions. From my previous video, we have learned how to find probabilities of a discrete distribution function and continuous distribution function. However, some probabilities are easier to calculate using the cumulative distribution function. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the probabilities from cumulative distribution function for discrete random variables and continuous random variables. First example, x is a discrete random variable with the cumulative distribution function given below here. Find the probability x less than or equal to 4. We have learned that cumulative distribution function f of x is equal to all the probability of x less than or equal to x. In this question, we are going to find the probability x less than or equal to 4, which means we are going to find f of x when x is equal to 4. From this cumulative distribution function, f of x when x is equal to 4 is 24 over 29. So therefore, the answer is 24 over 29. Next, find the probability x less than 4. Since x is a discrete random variable, x less than 4 is equal to x less than or equal to 3. For probability x less than or equal to 3, so it is same as the cumulative distribution function f of x when x is equal to 3. So based on this cumulative distribution function, when x is equal to 3, the value is 8 over 29. So therefore, the answer is 8 over 29. Next, find the probability when x is greater than or equal to 3. Since in this question, we are using cumulative distribution function to find the probability, so we must change the greater than or equal to becomes less than or equal to. So x greater than or equal to 3 is same as 1 minus x less than or equal to 2. So for x less than or equal to 2, it is same as f of x when x is equal to 2. From the cumulative distribution function, f of x when x is equal to 2 is 5 over 29. So 1 minus 5 over 29 is 24 over 29. Next, find the probability x greater than 3. Since x is a discrete random variable, x greater than 3 is same as x greater than or equal to 4. And since we are using cumulative distribution function to find the probability, now we are going to change greater than or equal to becomes less than or equal to. That is, x greater than or equal to 4 is same as 1 minus x less than or equal to 3. So for x less than or equal to 3, it is same as f of x when x is equal to 3. So from the cumulative distribution function, 
f of x when x is equal to 3 is 8 over 29. So 1 minus 8 over 29 is 21 over 29. Next, find the probability when x is equal to 3. In cumulative distribution, the probability of x equals 3 is equal to the cumulative probability up to 3 minus the cumulative before it, which is f of 3 minus f of 2. So for cumulative distribution function, when x is equal to 3 is equal to 8 over 29, when x is 2, it is 5 over 29. So when minus, the answer is 3 over 29. Let's move on. Find the probability for x greater than 2 and less than or equal to 4. Since x is a discrete random variable, x greater than 2 is same as x greater than or equal to 3 where we are going to find the probability when x is greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 4. The probability when x is between 3 to 4 is equal to the probability less than or equal to 4, which is f of 4, minus the probability less than or equal to 2 which is f of 2. So from the distribution function, when x is 4, it is 24 over 29. When x is 2, it is 5 over 29. So when we calculate, it is 19 over 29. Next, find the probability when x is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 4. When 2 is included and 4 is included, so the cumulative probability is equal to all the probability which is less than 4 minus the probability 1 because we want to keep 2 to 4 which is 2 3 and 4 so we minus f of 1 so the cumulative probability when x is 4 is 24 over 29 when x is 1 is 1 over 29 of the calculate it is 23 over 29 now find the probability when x is greater than or equal to 2 and less than 4. Since x is a discrete random variable, x less than 4 is equal to x less than or equal to 3. For the probability of x greater than 2 and less than 3 included 2 and included 3, so the probability is equal to all the probability for x less than or equal to 3 minus the probability of x is equal to 1 or less than 1. So when x is 3, the cumulative is 8 over 29. When x is 1, the cumulative is 1 over 29. So after calculate, it is 7 over 29. Find the probability when x is greater than 2 and less than 5. When x is not included 2 and not included 5, this is equal to the probability x greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 4. So the probability is equal to all the probability equal to 4 and less than 4 minus the probability less than 2 or equal to 2 because we are going to keep x is 3 and x is 4. So when x is 4, the cumulative is 24 over 29. When x is 2, the cumulative is 5 over 29. So therefore, the answer is 19 over 29. 
Next, find the probability of x greater than 1.8 and less than 4.1. Since x is a discrete random variable and the possible values of x are 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. So when x greater than 1.8 and less than 4.1, the possible values of x are 2, 3 and 4. That is, we are going to find the probability when x is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 4. So it should be equal to the cumulative of x less than 4 or equal to 4 minus the cumulative less than 1 or equal to 1. So when x is 4, the cumulative is 24 over 29. When x is 1, it is 1 over 29. When calculate, the answer is 23 over 29. Now let's try another example. x is a continuous random variable with the cumulative distribution function given here. First, find the probability when x is less than or equal to 5. From what we have learned, the probability when x is less than or equal to 5 is equal to the cumulative probability when x is equal to 5. From the cumulative distribution function given when x is 5, the cumulative function is 1 over 4 x minus 3 over 4. And when we substitute x with 5, it is equal to 1 over 2. Now we are going to compare for probability x less than 5. When x is less than 5, from the cumulative distribution function, when x is less than 5, it is equal to 1 over 2. This value is actually same as the cumulative distribution function when x is equal to 5. So therefore, we can conclude that if x is a continuous random variable, the probability x less than or equal to x is same as the probability x is less than x it is equal to the cumulative distribution function of x. Next, find the probability when x is greater than 5. Probability x greater than 5 is equal to 1 minus probability x less than or equal to 5. Probability x less than or equal to 5 is equal to the cumulative function f of x when x is 5. When x is 5, the cumulative function is 1 over 4 x minus 3 over 4. And when we substitute x with 5, and when we calculate, the answer is 1 over 2. Now I'm going to compare with the probability x greater than or equal to 5. Probability x greater than or equal to 5 is equal to 1 minus probability x less than 5. From the result of the first question, we found that probability x less than 5 is same as f of 5. Cumulative function when x is 5 is 1 over 4 x minus 3 over 4 and when x is substitute with 5 after calculate the answer is 1 over 2. So from this result we can conclude that the probability x greater than or equal to a value x is equal to probability x greater than x and it is equal to 1 minus f of x. Next, find the probability of x in between 3 to 5, included 3 and included 5. For this interval, we can separate it into x less than or equal to 5 minus x less than 3. For x less than or equal to 5, it is equal to f of 
5 for x less than 3 from the result just now it is equal to f of 3 so from the cumulative function given when x is 5 it is 1 over 4 x minus 3 4 and when substitute x with 5 it is equal to this and when x is 3 it is 1 over 2 so when calculate the answer is 0 during the examination this step can be skipped for probability x in between 3 to 5 either 3 is included or not included or either 5 is included or not included the answer is the same next find the probability of x in between 3.5 to 6.5 included 3.5 included 6.5 for this we can separate into the probability x less than or equal to 6.5 minus the probability x less than 3.5 under the cumulative distribution probability x less than or equal to 6.5 is equal to f of 6.5 probability x less than 3.5 is equal to f of 3.5 when x is 6.5, the cumulative function is 1 over 4 x minus 3 over 4. And when x is 3.5, the cumulative function is 1 over 2. So when calculate, the answer is 3 over 8.